What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a very special video. Today, guys, we are diving deep in on why I believe Jordan Brand must be stopped. Now, before we even get into that, let's get some disclaimers out the way. I love Jordans. Jordans made me get this channel to where it's at. You know what I'm saying? Nike, Adidas, Jordan, whatever you want to say. Jordans is probably one of the most purchases each and every year. So being said, you know, with that being said, I am a very uh, consistent, valuable customer to them. And with me stating the things that I may be stating today, you know, it, it may not make them look, you know, look at me kindly. I might not be getting as many packs as I once was. Well, I really haven't been getting that many anyway. But with that being said, I never wanted to make it to where I can't voice my own opinion if I have opinions or have problems or not with Jordan Brand. So with that being said, at the end of the day, you will never see me quiet about something I have to say. Now, the reason why I said Jordan Brand must be stopped is because of something that happened real recently. Well, actually, the last video, it triggered something in my mind that made me just kind of just go into domino effect and kind of just see, like, what is Jordan Brand doing as us, the customers? Why are they doing these type of things? And is it inflation? I, I, I don't know, you know, at the end of the day. But it's the way they do it, it's always kind of slick and, and, and schemy. It's not just very open or something being spoken about. And with that being said, we're talking about in particular the Jordan 3 Animal Instinct. The Jordan 3 Animal Instinct, I picked it up and did a yesterday's vlog with a sneaker pickup. And I saw something very, very weird. If you remember seeing, I showed you that they were coming in different boxes. But also, I spoke a little bit about something called men extended sizes. If you don't know what the extended sizes are, that is what we've been seeing lately with the women's sneakers, all the women exclusives. They bring them in extended sizes, which is basically a uh, men's sizes. So women's extended sizes would be like from a size four women's all the way up to like a 13 in women's, which would be like an equivalent to like a 10 or 11 or something like that. But really what would happen is the men would go in and grab those bigger pairs and do what they gotta do. I can't lie, I've been a, uh, uh, I wouldn't say, vic well I've been a victim to that. I went and copped a couple of extended sizes in my damn self. But now they're offering this in men's sizes, men extended sizes, which I really don't like that term. Now, maybe this is something that this, this is gonna be done for this shoe particularly, but I don't think they would just do this on one certain shoe if it's not something they're gonna continuously do. For this shoe in general, this shoe will come in multiple boxes. You may get this box right here, or you may get the standard, this regular Jordan box. The way that Soul Play got them, they were in mixed match boxes, don't, not depending on the size at all. I've seen nine and a half with this box and nine and a half with the regular box. It's really weird. But what I did see that drove me crazy was that they called them men's fours. So there was no grade school for this shoe. There was no four Y, no five Y, no three Y. What it said was men's four. And I thought to myself, if Jordan Brand really goes through with this and this is something that's brand new and all these releases that we have, there's no longer uh, four Ys, there's no more youth sizes, they're just extended men's sizes, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Well, a lot of you guys are gonna be in a lot of trouble. A lot of ladies are gonna be in a lot of trouble because now you're gonna be basically paying the men price for these shoes. It, it seems as if almost, you know, when we look at shoes in general, the men's size starts at about, I believe, seven, maybe seven and a half, but I wanna say seven. Basically, it seems like they're pushing back those men's sizes down to a four Y, to four men's. Maybe, like I said, once again, this is something just temporarily. But for this shoe in particular, the four men's is going for $250. So ladies, if you wanna get this, for instance, Nicole, she's a four Y, which would be a four men's. She would have to pay the $250 compared to normally, I believe, like around 130. This has been something that Jordan Brand has done for quite some time over the years that just kind of has been swept under the rug. And I've made multiple, multiple statements about this that I wish they would just kind of at least let us know these type of things. For instance, with the remaster series is one of the biggest, if not the most just conflicting issues I ever had with Jordan Brand as, in, as a whole. Because when that whole ordeal came out, it was a $20 price jump from $170 to $190. And with that being said, I was like kind of confused on why they were doing this, you know? But then I was like, okay, look, if you're gonna do it and you're gonna give us these premium materials and that's gonna continue on, that's fine. And I thought that at the time, but then I realized Remastered was just a collection, basically. It was a collection of sneakers and once that collection was ended, then we were presented with Back to the Basics. So we made a $170 price point to a, two, uh, to a 190 price point jump 
And then once the remastered series was done, those prices stayed along with it. They didn't go back down to what they originally were. And we've seen over years and over years, price increase, price increase, price increase. And being a businessman, I understand that's how it goes. Sample Industries, we used to sell t-shirts for $25. Over time, we've increased our prices up to 30, 35, 40, depending on what type of shirt it is, whether it's a puff print like the one you see here, or a stitched, embroidered, or a simple basic print tee. It depends on the type of price we're gonna sell it for. This one in particular being around $250. This is probably one of the most expensive Jordans to release this year. Because the ones previously were $225. So I don't think, and I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. I don't think there's been a Jordan that's released for $250 this year. This year, this year, this year, this year. And I could be wrong. Feel free to correct, correct, you know, correct me. I know there's been a couple of packs that probably released for like a little bit more than that. But uh, I don't think there's been a $250 on a Jordan. But with that being said, if this is just a one-off, or on special releases, okay, I get it, I get it. If it's just, this, this one in, in general, there's a lot of different stuff going on, a lot of materials, a lot of different leather suede and all the above, that's gonna cause this shoe to be that 250 price point. I can kind of see where it gets that at. It's a lot of stuff going on, and is it real leather? Uh, I don't know, but it's a lot of stuff going on. So I see the price jump. I don't agree, but I see. Understand the difference here. But with that being said, I just hope moving forward when Jordan 11s come out in the holiday season time, we're not seeing men extended sizes. Can I give you guys an honest opinion? I think we are. I think Jordan 11, you know, holiday season, we'll probably see some men extended sizes. So you four wise, five wise, welcome to the men league. Welcome to the big leagues. You feel what I'm saying? Um, when I looked at the four Y on these, I will say one thing, I guess that was very cool was that there was no difference in the quality. You know when it comes to, you know, GS, they seem to kind of cut corners here and there. There's little things that are there that are not normally there or, you know, missing and what, you know, whatnot. It was a pretty much a small version of this shoe. So I hope we get the same thing if they decide to do something like that. They're charging you guys or you girls, more than likely a lot of ladies out there, $200 for a Jordan 11, which would normally be a GS, like one, 70 and 130 something like that i don't know the prices guys girls you let me know but the uh carbon fiber wasn't the same as the men i would like to see that carbon fiber probably be the same now if you're gonna be charging us the price but i wanted to open up the discussion because this is kind of bottled mind boggled me and it just once again jordan brand doing something like this kind of just throwing it out there and not letting us know and uh continuing it on and and when i was at soul play kiana was the one that actually made the term men extended sizes so i don't know if this is going to be something we're going to see moving forward but this is the first time i've ever seen this happen on a men's shoe and to show you guys we've been seeing a lot of this lately which is basically the conversion on the shoe this is an eight and a half men's ten and women's and basically i believe i showed some footage on the previous vlog if i do have it i'll show it to you but you could see there was like a four men's and it was like a uh, 5.5 and women's or something like that and the price point was all the same but I want to know you guys' thoughts and opinions on this down below in the comment section do you feel like this is a finesse move what it is you know and like I said I know my people are gonna be in here guys it's business business you know you're supposed to increase your margins increase your profits I totally understand all that so it's, it's the inedible you know in, inedible ah in I can't say it guys my tongue can't work pause the inedible the inevitable. There he goes. And the in the in the inevitable. Damn. Cut. But I don't know, man. I just feel like the way they go about it is just random because they just throw a release at you with this. The people that Soul Play don't even understand how to explain it to people. So it is what it is moving forward. We'll have to wait and see. Even if now women extended sizes are going to be around anymore, it might just be men's extended sizes, and that's just how they're going to run it. Because at the end of the day, they're going to want to make that 250 rather than that 130. They're trying to find a way to get that 130 money and bring it over to the big league. So we'll just have to wait and see, man. Be on the lookout when these release. These releases upcoming Saturday, or I believe, yeah, this upcoming Saturday, the Jordan Six Hairs just got pushed back to the 12th apparently. So we'll have to just wait and see how that goes. And uh, I can't lie, these are dope, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you, these are dope. Review more than likely to you guys and girls out there tomorrow. So stay tuned on that. And uh, yeah, 250 is still an extreme price point. I can't lie to you on that, but they are nice. They are nice. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please comment down below in the comment section and let's get a little discussion popping. I wanna hear you guys' thoughts and opinions about this. It's a little bit crazy, but to sum it all up, once again, men extended sizes, 
seem to be coming to Jordan brand. And if it comes and you start seeing it more and more in GR releases, it's gonna be a problem for a lot of ladies out there. Cause they're not gonna wanna spend that money. And now, I mean, someone's gonna be like, man, it's only a $40 difference. That makes a difference to somebody who ain't been paying it for a long time. It was a big difference to me to go from 170 to 190 on Masters, or on, on the set Masters, on, uh, what was it called? Um, what they, what they, call, they even called Masters on Jordan 12 Masters, went in my head. Uh, remastered, the remastered. That, that $20 jump was like, whoa, we just got a $10 jump from the, from the ones. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just a lot of stuff going on right now. Who knows what's going on in Jordan brand that's making them do these changes. Um, it is what it is, man. You know, It's not a complaint. It's more so just like a, we watching you, Jordan brand. We watching you. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new and comment down below. Let's get this discussion popping. I'll be down below in the comment section to some of you guys and girls out there. Ladies, let me know you guys' thoughts in the fit uh, And then when I say guys, I'm talking like overall. I hate to say ladies and say guys, but ladies and gentlemen, let me know down below your thoughts and opinions. I love you guys. It's your boy 20D2Wild checking in, checking out. Peace.